So welcome back to the seventh episode of my quad project. This is the video version, obviously. Uh, today I'd like to backtrack to the first episode and I want to assemble these hubs that go on the end of the PVC pipe. Uh, it's not really that hard, but if you go through and spend a little time preparing yourself, take a look at these inserts and make sure they're all clean, don't have any burrs on them. Also, inside of the hub, make sure there's nothing there that's going to stop these things from seating properly. Uh, once you start this, you can put the uh, glue or whatever you want to call it, cement on the pieces and there's no real rush. The only time that there's a little bit of a rush is once you start to bring them together because it sets up very quickly. So you have to make sure that when you start putting these things in, you, you put them in, a little set, and then push down hard and make sure it seats all the way. Uh, you got one shot at it. Uh, it, it actually turns into one piece. It, the, the cement is an excellent uh, contact maker. It, it just actually bonds the two materials together. So uh, we're going to try doing this. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit so you can get a little closer look at, at how it goes. And uh, we'll take it from there. So we're going to bring this in a little bit. And we'll start doing this and see what happens. Okay, I got the first word here, first inset, inch and a half down to half inch PVC. And uh, basically we have the cement right here. And we're going to swab this piece of it right here. Make sure we get plenty on there. And try not to get it all over yourself, like I usually do. Put it on here. Take this and set it on top. And give it a good shove. And that one seated itself pretty good. It's got a lot of pressure and you might have to hold it down for a second because it's sad to come back up. And it, it may not go all the way to the bottom, but the main thing is that the majority of it gets down there because this is going to uh, affect how stable this thing is. So then we move on to the next one. If It helps if you get a little rag to wipe your fingers off. And like I said, there's no real rush. And you're just putting the uh, cement on there. Try not to drip it. Put it on the inside. This actually acts like a kind of a lubricant for a few seconds, that is. And then you put it on here. Get this on good shape. Make sure this is lined up. Put it on and give it a good press and kind of hold it down for a second so it doesn't come back at you because it bonds up very quickly. And there we go. And if you tried to get that out of there, you wouldn't have much luck. Okay, let's move on to the third one. Let's see. Keep this stuff as best we can from dripping all over the place. Okay. This needs to go where it needs to go. Okay. Put that on there and give it a shove. Hold it down, give it a few seconds for it to bond, and then move on to the next one. And if you try to wipe this cement up, it's going to make an awful mess. If you don't care anything about how good it looks, uh, I just leave it. And if you want to try to scrape it off later, that's fine. But if you try to wipe it clean like you would with uh, Elmer's glue, um, it's just going to mar the plastic up, the PVC, and it just makes a big mess. So whatever's there is there. If you try to control how much you, you uh, spread it around, make sure you don't drip too much, it's not bad. Okay, and this stuff does have a pretty good odor to it, so you might want to make sure you've got a little, little ventilation while you're doing this. Make sure you get plenty on there. Be a little liberal with it sometimes. It's better than not having enough because you want this thing solid. And give it the pressure. Hold it for a few seconds. And it basically bonds. So there's number one done. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but this blue tape, tape I put on there is an insurance policy. It will actually gently 
put it in the wrong. I did ruin one. I think I showed you that in another episode. I'll wipe my fingers off here before we start on the second one. And let's see what we got going here. All right. Set this aside. Uh, excuse me. I'm back. All right. Let's move on. And I've checked all these to make sure there aren't no burrs because we don't want no problems with these things going in. You, know, you got a one-shot deal. If you mess it up, you mess it up. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's get this going. Because this stuff really bonds. Whoever invented this stuff, some chemist someplace, had an excellent idea. Uh, I've worked with, with stuff as far as regular plumbing goes, and it goes together quick. You could almost plumb a whole house in a day versus copper. It does have a few limitations, but overall, it's pretty good. Okay, hold that for a few seconds. Let it burn, and move on to the next one. I actually enjoy working with PVC. It's, it's fun once you get started. Uh, I'm mainly doing this because there are a lot of people out there that have never used PVC in their life. And uh, sometimes things like that can be kind of scary. You're afraid you're going to mess it up. And, uh, but it really, it's not bad. You just have to make sure that you line everything up ahead of time. Preparation is key to everything. Okay, we'll hold that one down. And I talk about ventilation. I should have a fan going here, but I forgot to set it up. But this little bit of time isn't going to bother too, too much. All right, let's see here. We're doing pretty good. Okay, we've we'll got a good coating on there. Remember I told you we put the brown paper bag inside to keep this stuff from accidentally dripping down where it's not supposed to on the other connector and ruining that one. So we're going to get down here and give it a good push and hold it for a few seconds so it bonds. 